Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today is Friday, and I'm going to do a budget video for you. Um, I hope everything's set up. I'm using my camera. It's it. I had to put the money out of frame because it keeps wanting to focus on the former president's faces. <laughs> and then the page was actually blurry, so... Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got to get my wallet. Oh, I've got to go get my change real quick. My change jar. Here is my change jar. Let's see. This video is going up late, so I apologize. I also didn't get around to filming a weigh-in video on Wednesday, so I'm just going to do a two-week update next Wednesday instead of trying to rush and and do two videos back to back. I still am going to try to get some more content filmed, whether it be cleaning video, budget related video, or weight loss related videos. I have some ideas in mind. Uh, I've just been struggling with um, sitting down and doing it, I guess. So we've got lots of updates though. All right, so that is my change. Getting there. Bless you, bub. All right, so let me turn my license around real quick again. I should just leave it like that, but. Okay. So today is March the 12th, payday, Friday, and um, Dustin's paycheck was $2,104.93. The leftover that was in the account was $92.29, which I think was a right around, it was a little bit more than what was in there, what was left in the cushion prior. Um, as you can see, there's 8242 left in the cushion there because I always, I don't figure this in ahead of time. I always do my remaining and then that is my cushion. So unless there's, you know, hundreds of dollars remaining, in which case it would go toward, um, it would go toward our extra debt. So any, I just dropped all of my 20s. It would go toward extra debt payments. Um, there is no extra debt payments on there, as you can see, um, unlike previous payments. Now that we have both the trumpet and the windows paid off, we are putting our money, it was going to be on the camper, but we recently just traded our, like I say recently, but literally on Wednesday, we traded our camper in for a new camper. Um, that camper was only two years old, but it just really wasn't big enough for our family. So we had always intended on trading up, and we finally decided to go ahead and do it. And so we did. We traded in our old camper, got a new camper. Our payment is about, let me see, our old camper was $219.01. And this camper is $262 a month. So it's a little bit, it's like $50 more, which is I'm okay with. Um, it was a, It's a larger camper. It's a bigger loan. Um, we'd only paid on our old camper for two years, so we still owed quite a bit on it. So I was okay with going ahead and getting something that was a little bit more expensive. We got a better interest rate on this camper than we had on our um, even if we did the avalanche the truck interest rate is higher than our camping interest rate so um, we're gonna go ahead and snowball the truck that's gonna be the next 
payment, that's gonna be the next extra debt payment that we end up snowballing to pay off. But extra debt payments are actually gonna be put on hold because we're in the process of doing something um, that we're trying to save some money for. And so I don't wanna announce that just yet. Um, I will announce that later, but it's, it's a good thing and we're excited about it, um, but we're just not quite announcing that yet. Uh, so that's why there's not all of these extra payments. If we had our taxes or the new stimulus that we're supposed to be getting, then we wouldn't need to do this right, right now. Um, also, our goal for our taxes and our stimulus is to put the money some money like eleven hundred dollars back into our savings account because we did use that money not all of it but we used eleven hundred dollars of our savings to pay for our new washer that we got last week so we charged our washer on our lowe's credit card to get the five percent off and then the following monday because we purchased on a weekend the following monday i ended up paying it off after i transferred the money back to checking so um, i would like to replace that money um, i wanted to go ahead and pay it off and um get that taken care of and out of the way and not just make small payments on it so this is what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and get to our cash stuffing. As always, this is my budget sheet. You can buy it on Etsy. Um, I have a link listed in my description and you can use coupon code budget 2021 for 10% off. Um, and I also added just recently, I added two more pages to my Etsy shop, um, sinking fund and cash envelope, um, check-ins. So like monthly check-ins. And so, yeah, that's a little update for you. Let's go ahead and get started with our cash envelope stuffing. I did for once, um, put the envelopes in order of how they are on here. So um, or vice versa. So let's go ahead and do our water. Now our water bill has been higher, um, especially this one because we had that freezing weather and the snow and we didn't want our pipes to freeze. So we did leave some faucets trickling just to, you know, because it got so cold and we would have rather paid a larger water bill than have our pipes bust. So it is higher. Our Normally I do 80 a month for water and that usually covers it, um, except the last couple months it's been in the hundreds. So I already have $40 in my water envelope and that leaves 62 because my water bill was actually $102. So we're gonna go ahead and put 50, 60, one, two. And then that will be our total. Okay. Next is piano. Next month, there are five Fridays. So it's $20 every Friday that we pay for lessons because he has lessons every Friday. And that means there's it's $100 that I need to budget. So I'm gonna do 40 this time around. And then next pay period, I'll have to do 60. I guess I could have done um, 50 and then 50 next time, but this time around it's fine. So I'm gonna do, let's see. Forty. I really need to get a new set up here for my, something that will go over so you have a better view of this. All right, now moving on, that is um, all of our bills. Moving on, oh, I did wanna point out um, in our camper, 
I have over here the our new payment is not actually due until April 9th so I went ahead and set that $131 which is half of our monthly payment aside and that gets left in the account just like these other payments um, and then next pay period I will do another $131 and by the time April 9th rolls around we will have we we will already have the full $262 in there that we I can just go online and pay. Um, moving on to cash envelopes. Cash envelopes um, usually always gets $250, no change. Let's see, I might move this out of the way since you since you did see it. That way I can show you my envelopes. Next is fuel, and Dustin gets $100 in fuel, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and get his $20 that he gets for dad money, and that's going to get put with his gas money. Um, my fuel is $30. So I'm gonna go ahead and take 30, and this is my envelope. I haven't been driving a whole lot. I've been driving more lately than I definitely had before, but I'm not going through gas like I was when I was working, so. Uh, miscellaneous gets $10, that's lower than what I usually give but we're trying to conserve money. And I already have all my staples like shampoos and um, laundry detergent and things like that. Oops, today's the 12th. Pet is going to get $20. That's going to put me at $166. Spending money, I'm not giving myself any spending money this week. Now we're going to move on to sinking funds. Sinking funds um, starts with medical. I have to, I'm putting 50 in there. And I do 20s because copays, our copay is $20. So instead of doing a $50 bill. That puts me at 52. Next is vehicle maintenance. Vehicle maintenance is getting 30. Christmas gets $50 bill. That puts me at 300. Sophia's birthday gets 25. That puts me at 130. It won't be long and I'll have to order her present. Oliver's birthday is getting 25. This is a new sinking, not a new sinking fund, but um, I am depositing in there for the first time this year. So 
It's his 11th birthday. This is also my tracker from last year. And then finally, um, the only thing I have in my extra debt is um, this trash bag fundraiser. It says trash, let's move that to the side. It says trash fundraiser for $50. This is my daughter's band fundraiser. And this is where we buy our trash bags. I buy them one time a year. Um, I get five rolls and it lasts us the entire year. I put them in the camper, I keep them in the house, and so each roll is $10 and so that's what this 50 is for. So it's not actually, I don't have a tracker or an envelope for it. Technically I could put it in school, but I need to put it in the envelope that goes with her fundraiser. So I'm gonna do that and as you can see, if my camera will focus, there we go. Um, I zeroed out, so that's where the zero base budget comes from, as you can see. Um, and then a couple, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to add. So I updated you on the washer situation. I updated you on us stopping a few sinking funds um, that I would normally add to like camping and vacation and gifting and things like that. Oh, um, Oliver, we've decided he doesn't, um, we're not doing baseball this year. So that $25 that I had put in there to buy equipment, um, I actually took that out and I put that with some other money that I saved and pulled from envelopes. Um, that we just didn't need um, like spending envelopes and then I also had another rebate check from insurance and trying to build up some money for that thing that I am not telling you yet so um, but that is my budget update and yeah hopefully soon I'll be able to update you on that let me know in the comments below what you guys have planned um, to do with your tax money. Have you already received your taxes yet? I know that we um, filed ours the first week that you were able to and allowed to file, but we still haven't gotten our money yet. So what kind of plans do you have for that and or um, stimulus money? So I just am curious to hear what other people are doing. We have a few things on the table that we're wanting to get like a weight distribution hitch for our new camper. Um, also, if you guys would like to see a camper tour, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know and I, I could film one sometime this week. We did get it stocked with everything, so um, it's exciting. It's it's exciting to go. We'll, we'll be going uh, the week before Easter for our spring break, so very, very excited about that. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video today. I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.